Hi and welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shakuna and while I am on my own creative journey, I love sharing what I learn. And that's what I do here on YouTube and hopefully you get something out of it. And you know, often when I post something on Instagram or here on YouTube, I get comments like, Kosha, you make it look so easy. Or I wish I could capture things so quickly and easy as you do. But you know what? To get where I am right now, I did a lot of practicing and researching and I've been very curious and I still am. And where I am right now is not the end point. I am still learning every day. And isn't that the wonderful part of being a creative? You can still grow more. So your comfort zone right now might be quite small, but it's your comfort zone, it's great. And then if you push just a little bit out of it, it becomes larger because you have been brave enough to do something that you thought you weren't good at. And maybe the first time you try it, you won't be good at it. But if you try it more and more, and if you're having fun, you will get better. There are always ways to expand that comfort zone. So the comfort zone becomes a very broad zone to just really play in as an artist. So that's what I always work on too. And yeah, on Instagram, you will see art from all kinds of artists that make it look really easy, but you only see a certain end result as a, at a certain point in time in their process. And you have no idea how much time has gone into that work until they are where they are right now. A portrait artist can be really, really great at capturing someone's likeness, but it's not like they were born like that. There goes a lot of practice into that, into finding the approach and the techniques to get that likeness in the drawings. By drawing and sketching and making a whole process before that maybe amazing end result, there is a lot of trial and error. That's what sketching and trying and experimenting and being brave is for. About a year ago, a friend of mine turned 80 and I wanted to portray her because she has certain characteristics that are just so wonderful and beautiful and they really tell her story. But before I got to the point of actually being kind of happy with a portrait that I could actually hand to her, which was Kind of scary because I never make portraits of people, let alone give them to those people. It took a lot of trial and error and uh, through that process of sketching and thinking oh, this is not right, this is not the right shape of the face, color, the technique, I was learning. And yes, I was pretty happy with the result, with the final portrait that I actually framed and gave her, but I was much happier with the whole process of it. I was learning so much. And then when I gave the portrait to her, she was thrilled. So that also was really fun. But it's really about the process of learning, discovering and exploring, which also soaks into the paper when you are making your drawing. Remember that it's not about the perfect picture. And also things don't fall out of the sky. You need to work for it. And that work can actually be really fun. You just need to spend time to get better. I would never actually compare my art to the art of an artist whose work I really admire. I'm just going to see if there's anything that I like about it, that I could incorporate in my own art. They have a completely different background and they have a completely different journey. And I'm pretty happy where I am right now. And even th 10 years ago, I was pretty happy where I was back then. And if I look at the drawings that I made then, and I look at the drawings that I make now, there's a huge difference. There is so much progress and so much development but the joy has been exactly the same. And this is really what I want to tell you because some people want a shortcut. The only answer is practice. You can't just buy a skill. You have to learn it. And the learning process is really, really fun. And it's very, very important that you don't compare yourself to others because you cannot compare your beginning to someone's middle. There's just too many differences and it doesn't help either 
try to be inspired and not be intimidated, they have started somewhere too. So wherever you are, that's exactly where you need to be. And just keep going and feel that joy when you pick up a pen and draw a line, whether it's wonky or straight or the wrong way or the wrong perspective, it doesn't matter. You are drawing and that is what it's all about. And if you do want to compare, Anyway, I don't know why, but if you do want to compare your art to anyone's art, compare your art as it is now to the art that you made one year ago, two years, maybe five or ten years ago and feel proud because you have grown as a person, as an artist and you will see the differences. In my book I actually talk about this and I show you a few examples of people sketches, for example. I felt super stiff when I started drawing people because I just didn't know how. But because I just kept going and I, because I kept learning, like, okay, so I shouldn't make the heads too big. And I should try and find a natural way for me to capture the postures of people rather than trying to really stiffly uh, make it look exactly as what I see. And now I'm so excited when I draw people, even if I draw them completely out of proportion or in a wonky way, it's just fun because they add life to my drawings. So don't compare yourself to anyone, especially not on Instagram, because that is all polished and all really great and beautiful, amazing end results. If you want to compare, compare your art to the art that you have made before. See the differences and the progress and keep going. I mentioned my book, you can buy it. I know you want it. You would really help me by buying it. You can support the author by buying my book and actually you support your inner artist for sure by buying that book and reading it. So I'm adding the link to the book below the video. And uh, if you want to support me in any other way, you can uh, support me on Patreon, buy me a coffee, um, or just say hello in the comments. I like that too. Links are below the video and I will see you next week. Bye.